Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha and I currently overland full time in my Jeep Wrangler. So today we're going to be talking about, did I get scammed into buying a timeshare? All right, so little story time. When I was on my way home back to New York um, for the holidays, I stopped at Capella's. This lady starts talking to me like, oh, you look like you travel, this, that, the other thing. She was super nice. She offers me this, so I think, just like a hotel deal. I should have known, like, but she didn't come right out and say it was a timeshare presentation, but that's essentially what it was. But it was like a two night hotel stay at any of these different locations. And it was $150 for two nights. And she gave me a $100 she gave me a $50 Cabela card right there. And then she said when I went there, they would have a $100 gift card for me. So I should have owned right then and there that it was a timeshare, but like, I didn't even think. I had a flight to um, credit with JetBlue that was about to expire. So I ended up flying to Charleston and it was great. So I went to the presentation, had absolutely no intentions of buying anything, of course, but I mean, I guess that's how they get you. They had to sell me on like the lifetime membership. It was gonna cost like, 20 g's and then has all these membership fees and this that the other thing and like i even told the ladies and they were like yeah this probably doesn't make sense for you for people with families or like yeah like large families or kids and stuff like that like i can see it making sense but for me something like that just wouldn't make sense so they had this like deal going on you know they always got the deals and so what i ended up purchasing was a two-year program in which I get 24,000 points so basically how their program works is also I just want to say that this is not sponsored by Blue Green by any means um, I actually am not even sure if this is a scam yet or not still like we are gonna find out in this little mini series that I'm about to do so basically you get a lot of these points you use the points to book at these resorts so you know bigger rooms is going to be more points on the weekends is going to be more points during peak weeks is going to be more points so basically i am going to try to get like as many trips out of this while i'm traveling as possible so today is february 1st i'm not sure when this will be going up but today is february 1st and i got my 2400 points right off the bat <clears throat> and I can spend them however I want I don't need to like it's not allocated in any sort of way so just to give you an idea I just booked my first trip that I'm going to be going next week in Galenburg Tennessee and I booked it for a Monday and Tuesday you have to book a minimum of two nights and it only cost me 500 points so like I said I have 2400 points so just to give you an idea of like how I am trying to use my points as minimal as possible another great perk that you're gonna be coming along with me tomorrow is you are allowed to use the day amenities to these all these different resorts so in my head I was thinking like even if I don't want to stay at some of these places I could probably just stop and like use the amenities like the pool the fitness room laundry I'm sure I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to find a shower someplace tomorrow so tomorrow I booked a day pass with a Shenandoah location which I honestly would love to stay at because I know they offer yurts and stuff like that so they that's like a really cool little resort that I would definitely like to check out and actually stay at but while I'm just passing through right now, I called ahead. They said, yeah, go on the website and you can book it. And I was, and so I already got my confirmation. And so tomorrow I'm going to be going to the Shenandoah Blue Green Resort just to check it out and use the day amenities. So I'll be doing some recording there just to let you guys know, like, is this a scam? Is it worth it? Just to give you an idea of how much it cost, it was $3,000. So it ended up being... If you financed it it was basically one extra payment so I ended up financing it because my whole theory is if I took three thousand dollars out of my savings account it's never going back so if I'm able to make monthly payments therefore it won't come out of my savings account basically just figuring this in as an extra expense my last trip I tried to be like as frugal as possible like I tried to make my coffee every morning I tried to cook every single meal that I ate for the most part unless it was like stupid cheap that I was getting it for a deal like at McDonald's and I had to use Wi-Fi or something 
um, I tried not to get any hotel rooms or any paid campsites and that was great and all but now this trip I'm ready to do a little more exploring and have a little more luxury so I figured with this I would be able to book hotel or book these resorts and not feel bad about it because essentially they're already paid for um, and figured it's my budget the other thing that was kind of cool about this I don't know how often I will use it but um, I can also just book at any of the choice hotels which is their partnership for like stupid dumb low rates uh, the other really cool thing about this is I'm actually able to book for anybody so the first one I have to go to because there's like some meeting I have to go to to talk to them about all of my membership stuff blah 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 they're gonna probably try to sell me something else but um, that I will be doing in Tennessee next week anyway so if I wanted to book any of my family members a hotel or anything like that I could do so with my points so I thought that was another really cool perk about it. Um, yeah, so as I said, they got me, they did, and I'll give it to them. Like they're good salesmen people. They actually offered me a job too. The ladies were awesome. They were like, I wish you were like, had a later appointment. I might had like a nine o'clock appointment. They were like, I wish we could, could go out drinking right now. So um, they were really cool. I feel like they tried to get me a good deal because they knew that a bigger package wasn't going to work for me and they knew what I was doing essentially and so they were even the ones giving me like tips about like oh you could just go there and like do your laundry and stuff so they were super cool about the whole situation um but yeah I am going to be going tomorrow to check out my first resort and uh I'll check back and I'll, as I said I'm going to be doing like a mini series of this because it's going to be throughout my trip so tomorrow is going to be the first one with just the day amenities so I'll probably maybe make a video just from this and that so um yeah stay tuned this is what shenandoah looks like every single time that i pass through i understand that it's a valley but i have not been able to get a good view of shenandoah i have literally passed it seven times and it has been this foggy every single time So I just got here and it is so nice. I just had to check in and get my little day pass for my um, parking so they don't tell me. I'm so thank you guys. It looks like I'm in like the RV park area and the reason that I want to check this out because if there's RVs that means there are showers somewhere. So we're gonna go check it out. I think this up right up here might be the bathhouse. So this will be great. I'm not gonna shower just yet because what would I but it's like oh, So glad. I mean, it was a little bit of a hike from where I'm staying. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, my Jeep's a standard, so that's just my <laughs> gears wanting me to shift. But oh, these little yurts, so cute. I definitely maybe I can talk my sister into coming down and we could stay in one of these little yurts together. That is so cute. I mean, I don't care. I'll rent the yurt by myself, but. So, so far, first impressions, super easy. As I said, I made my reservation online. As soon as I got here, I gave the girl my name. I had to fill out like a little waiver. All right, so first impression, it's like a game room that I could hang out in. But I'm gonna go to the fitness room, which is very small, but it's fine because there's nobody in there. Small gym, fine. Great for me to work out. There's water in here as well too, so I'm gonna fill up my water bottles. I already checked out the pool area, small indoor pool, because they have two massive pools that are closed right now for the season, but the changing room had a shower. That's oh, I'm so excited. Um, the lobby's huge, so I'm gonna get a workout in. Maybe I'll take a swim, I don't know. There was a bunch of kids there. If there's kids, I probably won't, but <coughs> shower, and then I'm gonna go upstairs and do some editing. Um, some YouTube editing in the lobby because it's beautiful and there's nobody here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get a little workout in. 
take full advantage of this place. And so far, blue green, give it a go. So, you know, maybe my thoughts will change, but this is the first place I went, first time using day amenities, and I had no issues. Everybody was super nice. Nobody questioned it. Everybody was like, yeah, yeah perfect. Day amenities, here you go. Bye. So, so far, so good. So, got a workout in. Fills my water. There's also like a hot water spigot too, so I guess if I wanted to make like ramen noodles or something, I could. But, uh, got a workout in, charged my AirPods, filled up on water. So, already great. And used the restroom. So, now I'm gonna go check out the pool, see if anybody's there, decide if I wanna stay or not, and then if not, I'm this is also clutch for me, ice dispenser, because I have a bag that's like basically made out of a tarp so that I can steal ice and put it in my house. So I scoped out the pool and there was really, the kid, like there's no kids there and they're like all old people, I think. So I'm gonna go for a little bit. So I put on my PG, like no thong, full butt, one piece so that I don't scare anybody here. Um, but three showers and they're really honestly like, nice so um so i'm gonna go take a little swim relax by the pool for a little bit because it's early still so i got plenty of time I'm gonna just go check it out check out the amenities um and then i'm gonna come back and take a shower okay so i did not know there was a hot tub here so this is like double bonus i'm gonna be here all day might have to go get my laptop and work in here so that and take little breaks but what like literally hot tub to myself and the pool but I'll place myself so the hot tub was lovely it could have been a little hotter but you know I understand that maybe not everybody wants to be boiled like me so um but that alone was amazing so, as I said, I didn't know that there was an indoor hot tub, because they didn't say that. So, that was a bonus. But, as you can see behind me, there's a massive outdoor pool here. And there's another pool, when I was driving around, that's more towards like the RV park. So, there's multiple pools at this location. And, like I said, the game room, the fitness room, that alone, I feel like, was great just to come and use that. See, there's a fire pit outside, so I'm going to check that out. But, yeah, there's definitely enough amenities here for free but there was also a whole bunch of stuff you could sign up to do so there was like horseback riding and all sorts of like wood crafts and painting ceramics and some of them were extra like five ten dollars i saw at the most probably just to pay for supplies and everything like that but i get it you know inflation hit everybody so um you can also rent a golf cart for 55 dollars a day so if you wanted to like cruise around the grounds you could do that so i see just lots of little places for like out outside so if you wanted to like bring food you could just hang out there's plenty of stuff to do at this one little resort alone so i'm happy that i can't because it was a little on the fence like what if i get there and there's nothing for me to do plenty for me to do plenty for me to take advantage as far as living on the road ice shower fitness center pool not sure if this is seasonal or what the pool is obviously seasonal but this is a nice and brown pool the little cabins on this lake that's really nice all these beautiful mansions but it looks like there is kayak rental as well too in the summer After my trip to the Shenandoah Crossings, which is part of the Blue Green Timeshare Resort, however you want to call it. Anyway, so I went, just to recap, I went there yesterday just to use the day amenities. So therefore, I didn't have to use any of my points. I was just able to pop in. I did see on some of the um, resort websites, some of them don't even offer it. Like I know the one in St. Pete, I specifically looked at because... 
I definitely will be in that area at some point because I went to school in Tampa and I want to go see some of my old friends and they have a beautiful resort in St. Pete and they do not offer day amenities even if they are not at capacity but I also checked and it looked like they're kind of always at capacity because I tried to book I tried to see if they had anything available for February or March and they had no availability whatsoever. So um, that is one of the complaints that I did see as far as the reviews. Um, Blue Green is not BB, Better Business Bureau, BBB, um, like, what is it called? BBB, like, um, approved or... I don't know. They are not a part of the BBB. So, and the reviews on there are not great. It says it's a scam. It says, but at the end of the day, I think a lot of it has to do with the lifetime memberships because there are a lot of hidden fees in there. Like there's a fee to roll over your points. There's a fee to every year that you have to pay. There's a fee if you want, like there were a lot of fees tied into it. And I made sure that I pointed that out to the salesperson and they were really nice. They were not pushy. Um, they were like, oh, this one may work for you. So um, I was, I'm curious to know if I had denied this, if there was another package they would have offered me. But um, so far, I honestly am happy with my purchase. Yesterday, I was able to go use the fitness room which nobody was in. There was a game room if I wanted to like play arcade games. There was like pool tables, ping pong tables. So like if I had friends with me, it would've been cool because it sounded like an owl. Um, but so I was able to work out. I was also able to fill my like water bottles, which I know seems silly, but it was really good filtered water. So like Planet Fitness, you can always go fill your water up, but it's like chlorine. It's chlorinated water. It's disgusting. So the fact that I had like nice purified water was a perk. Um, I did not know that they had an indoor hot tub. So I was super pumped. That was like a surprise to me. I thought that I was just going to be able to use the pool, the indoor pool that they had. And I didn't even go in the pool because the hot tub was connected to it and it was lovely. There was nobody in there at the time. There was a couple group of kids, but this is the other thing too. I don't ever see myself using the day amenities on the weekends. A, where it probably isn't even available because they'll probably be at capacity, but B, there's, I know there'll be kids there. I'm like nothing against kids. They're just, they're loud. They're annoying. Like it's not how I like to be at a hotel. If I can go on a Monday, Tuesday when there aren't children and it's less points. I'm getting ahead of myself. So long story short, first experience, day amenities was great. I would 100% go back there and stay in one of those little yurts because I mean, I didn't see the inside of them, but I can only imagine they're super cute as long as the cabin too. As far as the people, they were so nice to me because you know, sometimes when people are like, oh, I'm just popping in to like, you know, take advantage type thing. Sometimes people can be kind of not the nicest everybody was so nice to me there they had no problem telling me where to go getting my amenities card giving me the wi-fi uh password to get in i sat like right behind the concierge desk for a while and did some work because there was this beautiful fireplace that i was able to just like hang out by and do some work i ended up editing and uploading a youtube video while i was there so i was able to use the wi-fi i was also able to take some ice from the ice machine i have like a bag specifically that i use when i'm at hotels to grab ice so while it may seem just like a minor thing like that saves me at least two or three dollars you know so just trying to as i said while i was there like why not and i showered too the shower was not super hot but that's honestly the biggest complaint that I have and I like my showers like scorching hot. It was like lukewarm. It wasn't cold by any means, but it was also by the pool. So I have a feeling that they might not have the hot water like turned up super high because of like kids or older people or stuff like that. So that was literally my biggest complaint. But other than that, I had a great experience. There was a laundry room. I don't have enough laundry to justify doing a load so I will probably do laundry while I'm in Tennessee which is going to be my next stop and the next part of my mini series so if you want to find out more about this blue green as I said I don't know if this is a package they do all the time but I'm sure that if you ask about it they would be able to offer it it is just a two-year membership where you get 2400 points that you use to book your resorts sorry it's really windy 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this little mini series, let me know and let me know if there's any questions that you want me to answer in the next video because as I said, I'm gonna be making a mini series of this as I travel to these different resorts, whether it be staying there or just using their day amenities. I'm letting you guys know how it is. So thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, share this with a friend maybe that is looking into a timeshare and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.